this is my territory. A city like any other, I suppose. You got your usual batch of opportunities. Big accounts, small accounts. Prime accounts, if I got anything to say about it. You see, I make my living selling a city on Prime. I guess it's more than just a living. For me, it's a life. Most mornings about this time, you'll find me here at Bud's Diner, having one of Bud's beat the house specials and getting ready for my first call of the day. This particular day, my stomach felt like a bowl of Bud's chili. My nerves were as edgy as a cat at a dog show. Word was out, it was time to hit the biggest prospect of the territory. I stood there in front of the building, knowing that this might be one of the best shots I'd ever get. I could see my pro club plaque on the wall already. We got the lead through inquiry processing. They'd gotten it from one of our trade shows. Inquiry processing qualified it and got the word that this account needed networking and communications. They wanted to link in some kind of CAD application. And they were ready for distributed processing at 327 branch offices around the world. Sounded to me like they needed Prime. After checking out the entire story, I targeted my ultimate pitch at Mr. Big, the number one decision maker, somewhere up there on the 95th floor. I reached the 95th floor and waited a few minutes for my stomach to arrive. I also waited for the doors to open. Nothing happened. I was trapped, and then I noticed the intercom. It said, press here, so I pressed it. Can I help you? I sell computers. I'm sorry. There are six salespeople here already, and they're all selling computers. I knew right away this wasn't going to be easy. This place was about as friendly as the defensive line of the Dallas Cowboys. I decided to take the offense and try a little force. Are you still there? Yes. Listen, I'm from Prime, and I'm here to see Mr. Big. Prime? Well, why didn't you say so? I could see this wasn't going to be a picnic. The competition was already there, but it didn't look like they were going anywhere fast. They were all doing the usual song and dance. The receptionist was reading a business magazine. I saw her eyes rest for a moment on one of our ads. Nice ad, huh? It's a very nice ad. Think I could talk to Mr. Big for a minute? Sorry. I like your ad. But nobody talks to Mr. Big. I could let you see Mr. Small. He already knows something about Prime. He just received your brochures. Corporate communications followed through and gave this guy the full treatment. Okay. I'll see him first. Mr. Small, the representative from Prime is here. Great. Before you could say integrated selling tools, I was in the door. Small knew who we were. He'd seen our ads, read our application stories, seen us at trade shows. He'd gotten all the brochures in the mail. He didn't want to talk hardware and configurations. He wanted to talk about solutions. I knew he was my kind of guy. I pulled an ace. I needed to impress him. I showed him one of the corporate videotapes. I know the advantages of Big as well as anyone. I spent 27 years at IBM. But let's talk about the advantages of small. You don't you know, have to build. I like the way you guys talk. You can build smarter. The show really got him excited. He called in one of his technical buddies. This guy was a human software package. He started to scribble all over the brochure, so I handed him some product bulletins. He scribbled on them, too. 
And then he asked me so many questions, I knew I needed more detailed information. I told them I'd be back later. Back at the office, I checked a few things out in the source. It was also a chance to check pricing, contract arrangements, and a few technical details that would answer Mr. Software's questions. Armed with a stack of technical documents, I headed back. By the time lunch rolled around, I had these guys programmed with Primos. To top it off, I gave them both the lowdown on prime customer service and education. I had a hand at the corporate communications. Their tools had come in handy. But I still hadn't gotten to Mr. Big. I just had to hang in there. Even if the count was three and two, I'd just have to wait for the right pitch. And then suddenly, Small and Mr. Software vanished. I was standing in front of the biggest door I'd ever seen. And then this strange voice spoke to me. Prime person, my advisors inform me that you've done very well. They tell me that your company has a reputation for quality, and they believe in Prime's commitment to solutions. That is good, very good, but it is not enough. It's not? Of course not. Did they give you the rundown on our education and financing? I could... It is not necessary. My advisors tell me everything. I admire your company's programs, and I admire you. You see, many years ago, I was a salesman too. I know a fighter when I see one, and I know a winner when I meet one. And I believe your company has the products and services we need. Good work, my friend. Here is your order. Well, it just goes to show. You've got to go into every presentation with more than enthusiasm and a belly full of Bud's coffee. You've got to have the right tools. And that's what corporate communications is all about. You see, they're part of the team. Providing tools to support our efforts every step of the way. From leads, to door openers, to the kind of tools that can help close a sale. Use the tools, that's what they're there for. Believe me, they open doors. Hey bud, how about another cup of coffee?